women, and I say this as a father, and I have a daughter, what, what makes you think you have the right to make decisions about your own body? What makes you think you have the right to do that? You think because it's your body, you get to decide what you do with it? When you live in a world that is controlled by old white men, you must be insane. You're, 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 you, you lost it. I mean, you certainly got me fooled if that's what you thought, right? Uh, Roe versus Wade, is this thing, it was leaked, a leaked, it's not official. It still might, you know, Right. I'm personally going with the old rich white men theory and they want you, of course, I don't feel like this women, obviously, but I, I do believe that these old rich white men do not want you to have any say over your body. Right. Um, do, do you think this is going to be official? Yeah. Or nay? Um, yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> Sad. Yeah, I do. I, if you want me to be honest, I, I do, do think it's, I do think it's going to go through. Um, it's funny that in the entire history of the ju judicial system, this is the first document ever to be leaked while the case is ongoing ever. It's it's funny. It's just funny that that just it just so happens to be this. Uh, it's a major case, man. And this this is a topic where there's no there's no real short answer, quick way to get to a dis because you're there's gonna be people on on both sides of the fence, right? I sent you uh, the little graphic there that shows that if this does go through all the states that are going to immediately participate, right? So there it is. And then, so the red is the people that will participate immediately. The pink is uh, somewhat likely. And then the white is uh, are the states that are not currently have stated that they're gonna participate. And listen, I said in a previous video that this was a Southern thing. I gotta take it back. I got to apologize because you can tell just by looking at that graphic, it's all over the states. Wisconsin, Michigan's in there. Uh, Idaho's in there. There's all places. There's not necessarily just the places in the South. And even some of the Southern states like Florida was one of the places that was kind of somewhat likely. Right. So well, look, there's old rich white men everywhere. So what do you want? Go ahead. It's 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 it's, it's tough. Right. Because right. Women should have a right to make a choice of of the decisions with their own body they're the ones that have to carry the baby and the biggest topic that's brought up like this is what happens when somebody uh gets raped well it's very simple pregnant. it's very simple ladies don't get raped i mean duh okay obviously obviously this guy's trolling well you, we hope we hope he's trolling but that's the biggest topic what happens when that occurs now now the woman is is forced to to have that baby because it's going to be illegal Right. That's one topic. And then the other topic that has to be covered is, let's be honest, this is something that's only going to affect people that don't have money. If you're rich and you're a woman and you want to have an abortion, you're getting an abortion. And nobody's ever going to hear about it ever. But Listen, if you're poor and you want an abortion, you can still get an abortion. It's called falling down the stairs. Wow. What is who the hell peed in your breakfast this morning? What do you listen? I'm not Did saying you drink orange juice or piss? hold on for a second. Let's let's be honest here, people. What do you think? I'm saying something new. People were getting abortions with fucking um, uh, coat hangers. People were getting abortions by running into to doorknobs. You're making it think like, listen, what you're saying is right. The rich people will still be able to get abortions safely. The poor people can still get abortions, but at their own personal risk, they're still going right. to have a, that's the big thing about this. You're going to take this away. You're not going to stop women from getting abortions. It's just, I mean, I guess, it, I guess it depends on, now. I guess it depends on how far they they go into enforcing this law because it's not hard to prove that a woman got a, an abortion versus a miscarriage. You know what I mean? That's not, there, there has to be medical documentation if there's a miscarriage of some kind. Right. Because you're going to go to the hospital, you're going to say whatever, whatever. They're going to be able to tell the difference between a forced one and a non forced one. So if they take it that far to where that is looked into, which is going to be literally impossible, you think about how many people get pregnant. But there is definitely going to be documentation of a pregnancy of some kind. Somebody's going to go buy a pregnancy test. 
somebody's going to go do something to figure out that they're pregnant. They're going to show, they're going to tell somebody. So if you're going to go find an illegal way to do it, you're going to have to be real, real, real sneaky about it. It's going to create a whole different type of breed of, of human being and thinking for you to be able to do all those things in order for you just to do this. But the fact that that's a society that's being created just because this law is going to be overturned is insane to me. Think of, look at what you're talking about, what people might have to resort to simply because this law is going to be overturned. I don't see what the problem is with the law in the first place. What is the issue with it? I don't get it. So in short, old, rich, white men, not all, but most, but most, and listen, I'm a Christian, okay? Very proud to be Christian, but not all Christians are the same, just like not all Muslims are the same, so on and so forth, not all Hindu, so on and so forth. So these old, rich, white men, politicians, mostly, that control every thing, they believe an abortion is a sin. Not allowed to have that happen. The people who put them in power, they're also, and I say this, I don't even like using this word, uh, this phrase, but they're like real Bible thumpers. You know what I mean? So they got to appease their base. What do you think? Everybody's mad about this? Are you crazy? There's tons of people in that country. It's like, yes, finally. Right. Finally. Not everybody's right. mad about this, bro. And That's this is I'm a problem. And, and see, you know, what's funny is we also spoke about uh, Kentaji Brown Jackson. Right. Um, and this is a Republican versus Democrat thing. And this is the problem with the with the Supreme Court just as a system right now, because if you look at it, there's nine people that are appointed. Six of those people are Republican and three are Democrats. Right. So Kintaji, congratulations. We have our first black lady, but unfortunately, she's a Democrat. And she's also six black to three, and a six lady. to three, six to three vote, six to three vote. Only so much power she can have. Right. As a female as a black female, only so much power that she can have. And now we're seeing it immediately. This is the first decision that she's major decision that she's going to be a part of. And she really has to lobby or that side has to lobby to try to get more votes, which in, it, that's why I'm saying it's going to get overturned because you have the Republican side that's, that's looking for this. Well, again, <sighs> oh, Canada. <laughs> I don't know what else to say here, man. Like, I, I really don't. And and I, I want to bring it to an end because we're poor and we don't pay for our Zoom service. And then we can continue after. Once again, um, that's uh, one of those we things. Yep. Yeah. So um, listen, at the end of the day, <laughs> this could happen anywhere, right? You know, just because it's starting in America doesn't mean it can't bleed over here or anywhere else. Right. So it could happen anywhere. But I'll say this and hear me and hear me well. Americans, we love your entertainment. We love your music. OK, but we don't want to live there. I'm not interested in. So, again, the we thing. I don't want to live there. I'm not interested in your American. Dreams, okay? God, I'm sorry. I did catch myself because, you know, some of the liberties, some of the freedoms that you guys talk about. Right. Give a little, take a little, mostly taking is all I'm saying. That's happening on your side. Mostly taking. <laughs> because the great thing about being in Canada right now is you can be 13. You meet up with this girl, she's 12. And one thing leads to another. First time having sex, both of you guys, she gets pregnant. She can have an abortion. She could do that. Different situation. You could be in America if this passes. 40 years old, both of you, consenting adults, never made a bad decision in your life. One night stand, 40 year old gets pregnant, can't have an abortion. Oh, Canada. Hey, listen, like the Canadian government heads came out and said, we stand by women's rights. There's no way this is happening here. So we ain't got nothing to worry about on this side, but. That's right, ladies. Have all the abortions you want. Tons of unprotected that's, sex. And that's not what I said. Sounds it's like not, it. All right. Not. Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What are your thoughts on this? Really? I know your thoughts, but comment anyways. All right. Deuces.